my Good morning, Garden Gang. Welcome back to Carden's Gardens. I'm Lauren Carden, and today is my birthday. I'm really excited to share this vlog with you guys because I figured since it's my birthday, I'll just do like a 31 years of wisdom vlog to hopefully impart and share some of the wisdom that I've learned in this long journey so far. And if not, maybe you'll just get reminded of something you needed to hear or whatever it may be. But I hope that you find this vlog well and that it helps you in some way, shape, or form. So if you're excited to see this, be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below for my birthday and just keep watching. The first thing I'm gonna be doing today for my birthday is a little reading. I am reading The Sun and Her Flowers by Rappi Cower. It's a poetry book. I really love poetry because the poems are kind of short so it keeps my attention and I can just read until I'm done and stop. It's not like I'm in the middle of a chapter or I need to remember the story. Each poem is a kind of a mini story within itself that like ties into an overarching theme. Whether it's nonfiction, fiction, self-help, poetry, anything, please read more. It's so good for your mind. I promise you, you will enjoy it if you can find the right types of books that are right for you. One of my personal favorite books is Flowers for Algernon. It's fiction, but it's like science fiction. That book is also written in short little parts and segments that are very easy to read and digest. So for me, that's what works and I love it. So I'm about to get lost in a few poems and then start my day. I'm snuggling on the couch with a comfy blankie and watching some Survivor. And so that brings me to my next tip, which is stay comfortable. Make sure you bring a bunch of cozy blankies and robes and cloaks into your life because believe me, it will make it a more pleasant experience. How cozy are you in your cloak? So cozy. Burrito time, burrito time. Everybody lose your burrito mind. It's time for a little coffee. Espresso time, espresso time. My next tip is make sure you drink tons of coffee to get through this life. At 31 years old, you need it. My next tip is always moisturize your face and really your whole body every time you take a shower. Honestly, it might sound crazy, but if you're in your early 20s or even older than that, now is the time to start. You wanna preserve your youthful look as long as possible. I'm telling you, start as early as possible. You don't have to use anti-aging lotions if you're super young, but making sure you keep your skin moisturized at all times is going to be a life changer for you. And on the note of keeping your skin nice and moisturized and hydrated, make sure you keep yourself hydrated too. And I'm talking to you, Lauren. We all know what happened with the hospital this summer. I'm just saying your body is like 70 to 90% made of water and your brain is made of water. Your skin is made of water. Keep yourself hydrated. You'll thank me later. I'm just gonna do my makeup and get ready really quick. And that's actually my next tip is pamper yourself. Take care of yourself. If you look good, you feel good. And I'm not saying that has to be through makeup, fashion, anything like that, but just take care of yourself however it feels right. If taking a little nap makes you feel refreshed and recharged, believe me, it's going to show when you're around others. Life is so hard. I think 2020 showed all of us that. So wherever you can, just take care of yourself. Try and take a moment every day just to do something that's for you. Again, I'm talking to you, Lauren. My last tip for this session is if you wear makeup, always wear blush. It'll really make you look like you have a lot of color to your skin, like you've been out in the sun, even if you've been locked inside for an entire year. I look like I've been out in the sun now rather than like being a ghost. Espresso time. Time. 
Another thing that I've learned is that the rules of fashion don't really matter. Honestly, you could wear plaid with stripes or polka dots or whatever you want, and if you feel good in that outfit, you're gonna look good. Whether it's sweatpants or a gown or lipstick on a man, it does not matter. If you feel good about yourself, then that is all that matters. My mom just came and picked me up and we're gonna hang out for a little bit before we go have dinner at my cousin's house. And the next thing that I wanted to share with you guys is that if you love someone, make sure you tell them. Tell them as often as you can because you never know what could happen in life to that person and you don't want to regret any opportunity to tell anyone that you care about them. I love, I love you. you. <laughs> we, one of us could walk and get run over by a car right now. You know, you just never know. Yeah. <laughs> still wear that same outfit. I pulled off that look, that dress so well too. Yeah, that looks really good on you. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I said, I don't care what you charge me. I think I paid him like 40 bucks. It's a nice one. Yeah, it is. Maybe I can keep that one. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Michael, I know you're not watching. Is, is that it? you? Yes, I that's thought that me. was. This is what I look like with about 20 more pounds and brown hair. Another thing that I've learned in life is that boredom can be pretty dangerous. Honestly, I have personally been a victim of being bored and getting into trouble. And I just wanna say that there is always something you can do. And if you just get into motion, you will find that you might enjoy what you're doing. Try something new. I hear people all the time say, oh, I'm bored, 2020 is so boring. There's nothing to do. There's so much you could do. You could read, you could write, you could look at old pictures, watch something. If you're bored with what's on Netflix, take a walk, create something, maybe try a new instrument, try singing. There's so much that you can do with your time, so don't ever think that boredom is the answer. You wanna have shrimp cocktail for your birthday? Oh yeah! Just remember what I was thinking when I got it. This is my mom filling out my birthday card. <laughs> <laughs> While I'm here, <laughs> watching her think of what she was going to say. Okay, happy birthday, Lauren. <laughs> we've gotten that far. I wonder who's having a birthday today. Lauren. Oh, thank happy you. Happy birthday, baby. We're going over to Jamie's house and I just wanted to take this moment to give you my next piece of advice. So the next thing that I'm gonna say is something that I'm sure you've all heard before, but never, ever, ever drink and drive, folks. That's something that I had to learn from personal experience, but it is seriously dangerous. Call a friend, call an Uber, sleep in your car if you have to. It doesn't matter. Don't drink and drive. We just got over to Jamie's house. I'm getting picky, you know And sometimes you just have to have fun. Cut that, cut, cut. Chef Jamie in the house. Another thing I've learned in life is to just stop and enjoy the moment. And that's something that I have to constantly remind myself, but we're so attached to our phones. We're so attached to social media and just capturing the perfect picture or the perfect post. And sometimes you just have to have fun and enjoy the moment. Life's too short not to enjoy it. And don't you forget that. And sometimes you just gotta dance. Dinner's done and we're about to eat and it smells amazing. Thank you, Jamie. You're welcome. I was gonna say I got more pepper, hold on.
Another tip I've learned throughout life is find a hobby that you enjoy for only yourself. For me, that's making videos and editing and seeing the final product. For you, it could be learning an instrument, painting, doing something creative, anything that makes you happy. But I highly suggest finding something to do with your time because Lord knows we all need a hobby. Cake time! You need more candles than that! Yeah, you're not two years old. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Blow out your candles! Okay. Kobe style! Yay! And we're going to a party party! You guys want a flower or no flower? I will take no flower. Yeah. I will take a flower. Of course. <laughs> Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and got something out of it in some way, shape, or form. It's been really fun to make and I just wanna wish you all a happy new year, happy holidays, and I'll see you next year on Cardin's Gardens. Bye! And don't forget to treat everyone how you wanna be treated. <laughs> yes, the last piece of advice is don't forget to treat everyone like you wanna be treated, AKA the golden rule. Bye! What? If you see someone being bullied at school, stand up if you're a kid. Watch yeah. Stand up for people that are getting bullied and don't be a bully yourself because it's mean. And remember things that are special in your heart that you love. And make sure you do those things that you love and cherish those things in your heart. And remember the most precious and remember the most precious memories you'll remember. And hold on to those memories because sometimes that's all you'll have left are your memories and you want to cherish those. Yeah. So if you're a kid, always be good to others. My next tip is always dress to impress. It's better to be overdressed than underdressed. Right, George? <laughs> Round, round, get around, I get around, I get around, get around, round, round, I get around. George gets around. <laughs> we don't work hard for this. You can tell I'm my heart in it. I love my women with some confidence. Hard to get it back and go bald and we. We was dropping out apartments. Going to your dome where the carbon is. We done popped out carbon it. When we top down, know what time it is.